to another Sunday School lesson. Hope that you are all doing well. I weathered the storm that we had this week and that I hope power is back on at your house by now. I think it is everywhere. Not everywhere yet, actually, but hopefully soon. And uh, we have another lesson for you. So um, let's, let's see. Let's actually open right up with a picture that I want to show you right off the bat, okay? This is the picture that I'd like you to take a look at, okay? What do you know about these babies? Twin babies. They are twins. twins. Yes, they are twins. Um, what do you be? One's on top of the other. Yep. What do you think these babies have in common? What is the same? They're, they they're both have the same shade of skin. Okay. And they're both hairs. Black hair. Uh-huh. Except one seems to have more black hair than the other. True. Do you think that will change? Probably. Yeah. Um, one. Their eyes. One person color, maybe? Maybe. It's hard to tell because what? here, one is sleeping and one is awake. Right. The one, the, the one that's sleeping... Look, looks older than the one that's in. But they're not. They're the same age. Okay. I guess with twins, they have the same birthday. But sometimes they always are, have at least a few minutes between them, or at least a minute or whatever between them, okay? More than a minute. But um, they always have a little bit of time between them because it's they're born one at a time. Um, so technically one is like a, maybe a few minutes earlier than... The, older than the other. Okay, and that we will actually be talking about with um, our Bible story. What do you think... Is there a Bible story about babies? Yeah. Um, how do you think the parents can tell these two apart? Uh, I don't know. One of them has a purple blanket and one has a white blanket. Oh, so they dress them different to keep them apart? That's a good idea. Well, what about when you put them in the bath? Or you change them. Or that one spits up on that blanket and you have to wash it. <laughs> no. Babies change a lot. Babies change their clothes all day long. They poop their pants. All that. Okay. So what about when these children um, grow up to be as old as you are? Uh, they might they're, they're probably look older. People might confuse them a lot. Yeah, people might confuse them. Yeah. Because they look the same? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, do you guys know any twins? Mm, uh, well, I, 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 I know Nathan and, and Evie. Oh, yeah. They're, do they look the same? Uh, no. Well, well, one's a boy and one's a girl. Yeah. But, but, but they both are, 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 are like they both have like freckles on their face, okay, and are like like very 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 white skin. Okay. They, so their complexion is the same, and they both have red hair, right? Yeah. But their faces don't look exactly the same. Like you could definitely tell them apart. Yeah. Yeah. He, because one has a bump, a ponytail. Well, and even if they had the same hair, I think they would look different. Even if they had exactly the same haircuts, I think that you would tell Evie apart from Nathan, for sure. Um, what about, do you know any twins that are the same gender, that are both girls or both boys? Aren't there two twin boys in your grade? Well, Julian, Ju Julian is twins, like, he has, he is twins with another bro brother, and then they have a little sister. Oh, okay. So he has a twin, but in a different class? Yeah. Have you ever seen his twin? Well. Or maybe you saw yeah. him and you didn't know? He He's always like, Julian, you can see him in the background eating, eating his breakfast. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, All the, right. And the, 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 the Julian from your class, right, Colin? Yeah. Yeah. Is that the one yeah. from Sunday school? Yeah, yeah. So I've known families where 
the twins look exactly alike, and I can't tell them apart. Oh. And I've known um, twins who definitely are different, and I can tell them apart. I had friends in college um, that they were brothers, and maybe when you first met them, they looked the same, but when you got got to know them, you realized they were very different. And it's the same with most twins. As they grow, they might look alike, they might have the same birthday, they might have the same family and do a lot of the same things because they grew up in the same family, but they all have different likes and preferences. You guys have different things that you like and don't like, and twins are the same way. One person might like one kind of food and one person another. One person might dress differently than another or do their hair differently. And so as you get to know them, even if they look alike to begin with, they, you realize that they are different people and you get to know who's who. Okay? Um, we are going to be talking about twins a little bit today as we start our Bible story. Okay? Uh, Luke, would you light the candle for us behind you there? Light if you have a candle, you can light it. What about a real candle? If that's what you have. That's what you can use. Okay? Good? Very good. Let's open with this prayer. You do not have to repeat. Lord God, we thank you for making each of us in our own way with our own personalities. Help us use our differences to help one another in the world. Amen. All right. We are going to read a story. You can get your Growing in God's Love Story Bible. Can I find a page? Okay. Our story today is going to be on page 30. Uh, 255. Page 30. It's a beginning story. Okay. Yep, that's it. That's it. Okay. If you have been following along on our other stories, um, you'll know that last week uh, we, had a, we had a Bible story about um, Sarah and Hagar. Okay. Sarah and Hagar were wives of what man? Moses. No, not Moses. Isaac? No. Abraham. Which, which? Abraham. Okay. Father Abraham had many sons and, and daughters. Right. Okay. So, Father Abraham. And it's true that Father Abraham did eventually have a son with Sarah, okay? Sarah and Abraham had a son. They named him... Isaac! Isaac. They did, okay? And in, in the Zoom class last week, we talked about how Abraham sent a servant um, to a faraway town, to the town where he came from, to find a wife for Isaac. So, Isaac has grown up. And he has married a woman named Rebecca. Okay? So we are on the second generation. Isaac, or Abraham is the father. Isaac is now the son. And Isaac is going to become a father, which will make Abraham a grandfather. Abraham and Sarah will be the grandparents. Isaac and Rebecca are the parents now. But they, but they were already... Old before they were even parents. I know, so can you imagine how old they are as grandparents? Oh, that I don't even know. Okay? I don't, I don't, I don't even know if, if, like, if, 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 if he'll be alive to see. Yeah, who knows? Of, unless he was like two, 200 years or something. I don't actually know. The Bible might tell us, but I don't know. I haven't checked. Um, this story is from the book of Genesis. It's called How the Twins Were Born. It's from chapter 25, verses 19 through 28. Hear now the word of the Lord. Do you know any twins? Do they look a lot alike, or are they quite different? This story is about twins who look very different. This story starts when Jacob and Esau were zero years old. They weren't even born yet. Okay? Sometimes... Before babies are born, they move around inside their mothers. Their mothers can feel them move. Rebecca did. Rebecca said, wow, 
Things are busy in there. I think I've got two babies. Not just one. Feels like they're rustling with each other inside me right now. I wonder if they'll always wrestle with each other. What prediction did Rebecca make? That they'll be wrestling a lot. They'll be wrestling. Uh, okay. First she predicts that she has two, two babies. And which then and they Yeah, which they didn't know in those days, okay? Nowadays when pregnant women go to the doctor they have a special um, ultrasonic machine that they can use to, to hear the movement in the mommy's tummy and then make a picture of what they hear and that helps them get an idea. Oh yeah, they can listen, they put the stethoscope on the mom's tummy and they can listen for the heartbeats. And if there's two babies they'll hear two different heartbeats. Okay, yeah. they'll know. But, but they, they, they might hear three if they hear the moms too. That's true, so the doctor becomes really good at figuring it out. Okay. In those days, in those Bible days, they didn't have those kinds of machines, okay? Some women found out they were having twins when they were born, okay? Oh, you're having a, oh, you have another baby, still coming, okay? That was how it went, okay? So, but Rebecca figured it out. She was like, I think I got two, and I think they're wrestling in there, okay? She was right about everything. She was right about the twins and about their wrestling. Esau was born first. He had a lot of red hair, so they called him Esau because Esau was their word for red. Oh, Jacob was born second. He stuck out his arm right after Esau was born, like he was still wrestling with, with Esau. So they called him Jacob because Jacob was their word for wrestling. Oh, okay. Jacob is your dad's middle name. Oh, it was almost your, your first name. Yeah, I thought about naming you Jacob, but then I was like, I don't know if he's going to be a wrestler. Right? And it turns out that Luke was your name. Luke was a perfect name for you, but but we, we thought about it, what does actually. Luke okay? uh, bringer of light. So Esau and Jacob were a lot alike. They were born at the same time. They played together. They grew up in the same family. But they were also very different. Esau loved getting outside. He liked the outdoors. He liked hiking. He liked hunting and fishing. He brought fish that he caught and animals he hunted home to his father Isaac. Isaac liked Esau a lot. Jacob liked staying inside. If they had had books and smartphones, which they didn't, he would have read those all day. He made things at home and he helped his mother cook. Rebecca liked Jacob a lot. Are you starting to get how they're different? Yeah. Just as Rebecca had thought, Esau and Jacob wrestled with each other their whole lives. Just like all brothers and sisters who fight, Esau and Jacob did too. Once when they got older, something big happened that made them really, really mad at each other. And that's what happens in the next story. The one that we read... Next, Next Sunday. video. Word of Next wisdom. Sunday. Word of grace. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. There you go. Um, we are not going to double up any more lessons. We did our doubling up. So we're going to stick with this lesson for our Zoom and everything. And then next video, we'll talk about what happens when Esau and Jacob grow up. Okay. But let's not let's let's stick with what we have here. So we have play the story. We have two brothers. And they grew up in the same family, and they like a lot of different things, and they are very different boys. Are you guys very different? Yeah. 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 You well, guys? We still like the, some of the same things. You do like some of the same things. I grow fast. Yeah, you guys both do. Okay. So um, you all have uh, a brother or sister that you might have some things in common and some things that are very different. The only okay. thing that me and Luke have in common What's is, that? is our eye color. Yes, yes. You guys have, a, you look a lot alike. That is for sure. Okay. In fact, people who don't know you well might mix you up. Yeah, okay. yeah like Mrs. Ingram called me Luke. Oh, oh sure. I... Yeah. And you know what? One time in the grocery store or Walmart or something, somebody asked me if you were twins. What? I thought it was so silly because I, you're clearly three years apart. But... 
You do look a lot alike, and somebody thought that you were twins. Okay, that's okay. Do you remember why the Esau and Jacob got their names? Do you remember what Esau means? Red. Red. Red, because he and has Jacob means red. Wrestling. Because Esau has red, what? Hair. 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 And Jacob was named... Wrestle! Wrestle, yeah. He was named for wrestling, because that's what he but did. Luke, okay. But Luke's middle name is Russell. No, it's yeah. not. It's not. But it's Russell. Daddy. Daddy's name is Jacob. My name is... Ru no, my name is Russell, not Russell. That's true. I never put that all together. Okay. Russell. All right. So I want you to think about somebody that you know. It could be a, fr a relative, could be a brother or sister, or it could be a friend. Not like me. Someone you know, okay, who is different than you in a lot of ways. Can you think of somebody you know who is different than you in a lot of ways? Give you a moment to think. There's some people in my class. Mm -hmm. You, oh, excuse me. <coughs> you might think of someone who is taller than you. <coughs> excuse me, taller or shorter than you. Oh, Davy. Okay. Who's someone Davey? who is more athletic than you, or maybe more artistic, or less, more or less. Okay. Someone who is louder or quieter. Okay, there are a lot of differences that you might have with this person. You don't know who Davy is? Shh. In what ways... Liliana is very different to me. Okay, yeah. In what ways do your differences help you be friends or help you work well together? Can you think of that? Like, if you're working together on something... Maybe one person is really good at one job and someone else is good at another job. And when you put those two jobs together, you get something accomplished. Have you ever worked with somebody like that? I can, I, 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 I can usually do the, the writing person. So you're the writing person, but maybe someone else is the idea person? Okay. Or, 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 or like the drawing person. Or the drawing person, exactly. Exactly. So those are like my that's, journal. That's an example of how you work together with someone to get something done and and, and use usually, your skills. Like at Addison or like Addison can do mm -hmm. is the draw the drawer. Okay. So set, set, ser, Serenity is is also like I I, I think she's better than Addie at drawing. Oh. Okay. Well, what about, have, there, have you ever tried to work with someone who was so different from you that you just could not get along? Or tried to play with someone on the playground, but you discovered that you were just so different you could not come to any kind of middle ground on something? But James? Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. But, well, I think, like, like with, with, with Sadie, like mm -hmm. her... And like Dimitri, mm -hmm. like she she like she 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 can't like understand at 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 all how I'm friends with him at all. Oh. Because she thinks he's just so hard to work with. Okay. Yeah. So she just can't can't get in there and work with him. She's, she's, okay. Yeah. So she, that's she, she, like she 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 doesn't do like. Like the, the the kind of like silliness that we, mm -hmm. that we do. Yeah. She's more sarcastic uh, than, 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 than like okay. ridiculous. Oh yes. Sarcastic. So think about Esau and Jacob here for a moment. Can you think of how they might have trouble getting along? Oh, well, they wrestle a lot though. Getting mad at each other. Mm -hmm. and wrestling. Yeah. I want. I, I wonder what the next story is. What is it that you know about them? What does Esau like to do? Wrestle. Wrestle. Hmm? What did we read in the story that Esau likes to do? He has to go outdoors. Yes, and what does he do outdoors? He collects food. Hunting and fishing. Yes. Okay. And what does Jacob like to do? Uh, 
uh, probably help like his mother with cooking and stuff. Mm -hmm. And play a video game and read the newspaper. Yes, what? they don't have those, but yeah. Yeah, he stays in and does inside things. I did things okay. like maybe plays like nowadays yeah. things. Yeah. So they may have trouble when they grow up getting along. Maybe they can help each other out. You go hunting and I'll cook. Okay, maybe they can help each other out, but they also have some differences that make it really hard for them to get along, and that's what we're going to find out about next week. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the one they grow up? When we meet together in Zoom class, we're going to talk a little bit about um, a brother and sister that have an argument. So you might be thinking about arguments you've had with someone in your family where you could not agree on something. Okay, and uh, we're going to be playing a little bit of a game as well. And maybe you listen to a story of a brother and sister. Okay? All right. I would like uh, to give you a little prayer to close us today. Are you okay? Yeah? Be careful. Okay? Let's say a little prayer. Hold my hand. You all right? That hurt, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's finish up our prayer. Thank you, God, for loving me. Can you say that? Thank you, God, for loving me. Yeah. Whether I am tall or short. Whether I am tall or short. Whether I like to run or hop or sit. Whether I like to run, hop, or sit. Whether I like to shout or be quiet. Whether I like to shout or be quiet. Thank you for making me, me. Thank you for making me, me. Amen. Amen. All right. Luke, God loves you. Colin, God loves you. Okay? just like you are, and he loves each of us just like we are, okay? I hope that you will join us at 2 o'clock on Zoom. If you need the information for our meeting, reach out to us, and uh, we will get it to you, okay? Thanks.